Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today we're gonna to be checking out the brand new Electron Entropy from MVP Disc Sports. We'll take a quick look at the side profile and then we will see how it performs. I think this is a pretty highly anticipated drop that a lot of you guys are excited for. Very much like an approach style putter. Definitely not like a deep dish putting putter type disc. Definitely something a bit more overstable at a 4.3 minus 0.53. Going to be looking for a little bit of straight push in the mid-flight and then a nice hard dump at the end. Um, the MVP's baseline plastic has come a long way. It feels really, really nice. It's got a little bit of grippiness and tackiness to it. it looks like it's going to be pretty stable. Probably not quite as stable as something like the Prodigy A2, but probably something similar to like an AVRX3. But first throw, first impression, let's see how it flies. Oh yeah. So even in a baseline plastic, very overstable, not really any 0.5 turn, at least for me, seemed to be really overstable just right out of the hand, which is something I actually really like when I'm trying to approach the basket with the most possible consistency. Let's go grab it, we'll throw it a few more times, and yeah, we'll see <laughs> and see how my opinion develops. All right, so after one throw with the Entropy, uh, this is a lot more overstable than I thought it was going to be. And I think the minus 0.5 turn might be slightly misleading. I think it's hard to say a disc with a true three fade. It's really hard to say that it has any turn. If I release this thing on hyzer, it's not deviating off the hyzer. I'm curious to see if it holds the angle a little longer if I release it on an anhyzer line. But I really just think it's going to immediately want to fight out of it. To me, this is even more stable than an AVR X3 after that first throw. Definitely more like more beefy than a harp just a super beefy utility disc even in a baseline plastic this thing like feels really nice and it seems to be a good flyer let's try the anheuser line here yeah i mean that's got no turn all it wants to do is just force its way to the left pretty much as hard as possible and i like in that more softer baseline plastic you're gonna not going to get those big skips once that thing hits the ground it's just going to want to stay where it's at and that's going to help you shoot better scores out on the course you don't want to approach the basket and have those big skips you want to just land where you land and not have too much deviation from there just playing lawn darts trying to put yourself as close to the basket as possible that seems like it's going to be a really good disc for that specific purpose and i'm not sure about you guys but i know i throw my overstable approach disc on forehand lines more often than not. So we will also try the forehand line. Gonna release it on a slight Anheuser, but with a lot of power. We're really gonna test the torque resistance on this throw. And for you forehanders out there, I throw right around, again, 60 to 64. At least that's what Tectus told me is that I throw the same speed on backhand and on forehand. So again, throwing around that 60 miles an hour. Let's see how the electron entropy flies on those forehand lines as well. So if I really yank over on it with a lot more off-axis torque and a lower spin rate, that's the biggest difference between my backhand and my forehand is my backhand spins substantially more. So when I forehand discs, they fly a lot less stable than when I backhand them. Um, so I tend to bag more overstable discs for those forehand lines. If I throw my Prodigy A2 on that same line, it's actually going to flatten out and flex and start coming out at the end. Um, so if you throw with a lot more off-axis torque, it's not going to be quite as stable. Or if you don't throw with a lot of spin, it's going to be quite a bit less stable. But I pretty much did everything I could to wrench it over to see how it would perform under those conditions. And I think for those long, big turnover forehands, it's still going to work really well for those. Um, but this isn't a disc where I would really use it as like a flex forehand disc. I would go with something probably even more overstable. Electron Entropy, honestly, it's awesome. It's a really good flyer and something I'm going to test out, um, particularly as a backhand approach disc. I've been bagging the Berg, I've been bagging the A2, I've been bagging the Loft Discs and Neon, all for forehand approaches. And I am super stoked to add this to the bag and see how it performs out on the course for backhand upshots, which is a part of my game that I'm really lacking on. Go get one, use my discount code, 
Iceberg 10 over at Power Grip USA. Unfortunately, MVP does not allow their products to be discounted. Unfortunately, that's just the way that it is. They're the only brand that does that, so that really sucks. Um, but when it comes to just you guys supporting the channel, I still get credit for that sale. You won't get a discount on any MVP discs, unfortunately. That's not just me. That's everybody who has a discount code. They'll never work on MVP products right now, at least as things currently stand in the current landscape of things. But anyway, I love the Entropy. Definitely go check one out. Use my discount code over at Power Grip USA. Add a couple other items to the cart. Spend $70 or more. Your order will ship for free. And then you will save 10% on any other products on the website other than MVP and Axiom stuff. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart who watch the channel. See you guys in the next one and take care.